Hello everyone, welcome back to The Legend of Korra. Today we're watching Book 3, Episode 7, which is called The Original Airbenders. I remember last time we watched, Lynn had a little bit of a coming around to her family and being a part of their lives and forgiving and forgetting kind of thing. Or at least moving past the difficulties that they had in their youth between Lynn and Suyin. Bolin is wanting to learn metal bending, and Zaheer knows Korra's current location. So with that being said, let's get into today's episode and see what's gonna happen. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the comments. His pupils once again pleaded with their master to eat something, but he refused. Instead, he simply meditated, getting his nourishment from the universe. On which island? Ooh! Ooh. Anyone besides Otaku? His name is Otaku. <laughs> Wheeltail Island. That is correct. Again. Greetings, our people. I come seeking boring stories to take back to the spirit world. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe Tenzin isn't the most exciting teacher. <laughs> A little bit dry. Now that's something that could get him excited to fly around in our own bison like that only after many years of practice besides we don't have enough bison here for all of you what about those it's a whole herd of bisons actually the plural of bison is bison whoa cool wow that's a wild herd it would take many years to tame them i bet kai is going to be a natural with the wild air bison he's going to tame one maybe <laughs> how is everything in the city sahir infiltrated the air temple what mm-hmm and he stole some old necklace that had something to do with Guru... Guru Lahima. You know, I can never keep all those gurus straight. Remember that long, boring story about the guy who never ate? <laughs> yes, I remember. <laughs> Oof. We got a call about a new airbender, and it turned out to be Sue's daughter, Opal. That's wonderful. She is wonderful. <laughs> Sorry. Mulling out. <laughs> No one seems to be interested in the hard work required to become a part of the Air Nation. And what about Boomy? He was a naval commander. Maybe he has some ideas about how to get people motivated. Boomy? If you ask him for help, you can trick him into taking more responsibility by making him think the whole thing was his idea. Hmm. Ah. You're turning into a pretty wise avatar after all. Ah. I want to fly one of those bisons. See? Come on, let's, let's go. have some fun. I guess it will be all right. Sorry, it's it's Aang's granddaughter flying. How come they're all on the ground? Air bison calves can't fly for a week or oh, two. Oh, they're after so the cute. Board. I'm sorry, I get really like sentimental. <laughs> Aw, look how cute. Kai, get out of there! Uh oh, Mama's here. She warned him. You know, you're an incredible airbender. Why don't you have tattoos like an airbending master? My dad says I'm not a master yet. If anyone's a master, you are. I'm guessing she wouldn't have to shave her head? Wait, in all the flashbacks of the airbenders from Aang's time, I don't remember any women. Boomy, can I talk to you? I don't think I'm doing very well with the new airbenders. What would you do if you were in charge? You've got to use military discipline to whip these troops into shape. Break them down so you can build them back up. Show them who the master is. Thanks for the insight. My pleasure. <laughs> oh! I'm going to break you down and build you back up. Is he hoping that he goes overboard so Boomy will, uh, will say, you know what, let me take over? <sighs> Nothing like a 10-mile hike first thing in the morning. Dang. Oh, if it weren't so cold, I'd go right back to sleep. Airbenders are able to warm themselves with only their breathing. Seems so useful, I wish I could do that. I'm <laughs> cold right when now. <laughs> I said that thing about an iron fist. Hush, meditation time. What a beautiful view. It's time for a balancing exercise. Back on the posts. It's not hard if you concentrate. That looks extremely hard. What's the matter? You can't handle it, soldier? Don't you think you're being a little hard on them? Don't worry. They can take it. Ignore the lemurs digging in your ears. 
What the heck? When the head is shaved, an airbender is able to feel the wind around him. Hey, you want to sneak away and go check on the baby bisons? Shh. All right, who's next? I'm not sure I want to shave my head. That's fine. Shaving your head is a personal choice. Wait, what? Uh, oh, <laughs> poor guy. It'll grow back. Maybe we should give them a break. Jinora, I have this under control. He has a plan. But she doesn't understand the plan. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh. Never feel the stinging rash. Cactus? Oh, he was doing so well. Everyone is waiting for you, Boomy. You can do it, Boomy. Come on. Oh, oh. Ouch. You don't have any safety nets? You're letting your fellow airbenders down. Count me out. Fine, quit. When do we get to go home and visit our families? Go home? You just got here. This is just as bad as the Earth Queen's prison. <sighs> Jinora, take over. Does this mean I'm the master now? Yes. When do you think I can get my tattoos? The answer is no. You're just a little girl. I can airbend just as well as you. And I have a stronger connection with the spirits than you ever will. She helped save the world. Hiki, Milo, you're up. Look to your left. Look to your right. One of those people will not make it out of here alive. <laughs> Milo's the best. <laughs> he just can't believe that I'm grown up now. I know something that'll cheer you up. An air bison. <laughs> Where are the babies? <gasps> Zaheer? Oh. Trappers? Are they working for Zaheer? What are these kids doing in my camp? I'll take them to Ba Sing Se with the rest of the fresh meat. Back to bossing, say? No, nah, man, we just escaped from there. Umi ruins everything. I really thought Tenzin like had this plan, but it's just not Umi going well. Quit, and the rest of the airbenders want to go home. You know, just because these people can airbend, it doesn't automatically make them air nomads. I remember when I moved out of my parents' house to become an air acolyte. That first night, I was so scared and lonely, and the bed was so hard. It's actually better for your back. <laughs> She's like, that's not the point. The point is, <laughs> but it still took time for me to adjust and feel like I was a part of it all. These people are probably feeling the same way. Thank you, Pema. Boomy, I want to apologize for losing my patience. I'm not talking to you. <sighs> Where's Janara? I saw her fly off on her glider with her boyfriend. What? Her boyfriend? <laughs> Oh no, they captured the baby How air bison. Steal these bison. I'm sorry, bison. <laughs> the Earth Queen and her fancy friends pay big money for bison steaks. <gasps> steaks. I even heard she ate her dad's pet bear. What? I hope that's not true. Go find Boomju. Tell him we're in trouble. I'm just not cut out to be an airbender. <laughs> well, you can that's do your it. Opinion. <laughs> Aw, Boomju. Did Janora send this spirit? Is she in trouble? Janora's in trouble! We have to go get her. You were able to communicate with the spirits? More or less, I get the gist. Let's go. I don't want to get into trouble. It's up to us. Airbenders, move out! Well, it looks like what Tenzin wanted to happen is going to happen. <laughs> After all. Despite all his attempts to sabotage himself. <laughs> Bison rustlers. I don't know if I'm ready to get in a fight with some bison rustlers. Listen, this is what we've been training for. Remember how we persevered together on the obstacle course? You actually quit. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm not quitting now. But we're airbenders. And there aren't many of us, so we've got to stick together. Leave no airbender behind! I love it. I love it! Boomy's the one that can, like, bring them together and make them feel like they're a part of something. Hey, what are you doing out? Go, airbenders! <gasps> he could feel it because he's bald! <laughs> The 
This is a joy to watch. Oh, man. Oh, no, Janora's getting away. What's going on down there? Ow! I'm coming, Janora. What the? <laughs> Don't mess with the air bison and don't mess with the air benders. It's not very often that we get to see an air bison like doing bending moves like that. You think you could kidnap Janora and all these baby bisons? Oh. That's enough. No, let him have a few more. He deserves it. Taste your own medicine. Maybe you boys haven't heard, but there's some new airbenders around these parts. Without my shaved head, I never could have dodged that net. You guys should totally get shaved. <laughs> Maybe some more will. You remind me of Dad. I never really felt like I was part of the Air Nation before. You are now. Yay. They're so friendly now. The bison are the original airbenders. They recognize their own kind. It's hard for me to believe that my little girl is grown up enough to have her tattoos. But I promise I'll think about it. Nora, look! They're floating! Okay. <laughs> oh. oh, I love this show. I guess everyone is growing up. Oh, it makes me so happy. I just feel like Avatar touched me so deeply. And Korra is such a beautiful extension of that, that I don't really know how to explain why, like, before the, like, as soon as I start the episode, the intro plays, the music plays, I get reminded of, like, the beautiful things about Avatar The Last Airbender and the characters and the magic of the world that I, I'm already, like, feeling super emotional. I just, it's frustrating to me because... There's just like something totally normal and like generic happening on the screen. And I'm just like in my mind, I'm thinking about like Aang or I'm just feeling so happy that I can be, you know, in this world, like continue to be in this world and and share in this journey with the characters that I don't know. I mean, I kind of get that way with anything, like anything that makes me really happy, anything that that brings me like peace or joy or just something that's like a beautiful story or just like a piece of music that sounds really lovely and really brings out like the emotion of a scene of anything the most random shit will just set me off on some kind of emotional like thing and i hope somebody watching is old enough to <laughs> realize because you know the the more i age the more i get older the more susceptible i am to this so hopefully somebody out there can kind of understand this was just a beautiful episode it makes me feel all warm inside and happy and seeing everybody learn about what it is to be an airbender an air nomad and coming together and <sighs> working through this really difficult situation because it's easy to kind of knock on Tenzin for how he's going about things because Tenzin is Tenzin. As much as we love him, he can be a very difficult person to deal with. And he's very stubborn and he's kind of closed-minded and he's set in his ways and he, yeah, Tenzin is Tenzin. But also he's just put in a very difficult situation that anybody would struggle with. And anybody who's suddenly an airbender, taken away from their homes and their families, and suddenly thrown into this air nomad life, that's got to be really hard for them too. Even if Tenzin was like the perfect teacher and mentor, it would be hard. So it's really nice to see things advancing in a good direction. And it looks like we've made some very valuable friends with the uh, wild air bison tribe. So I'm really excited to see what's going to happen next. Thank you guys for watching and dealing with my strange behavior and my overly emotional self. <laughs> and um, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye. And I'll see you in the comments. Bye.